Hey coders, we are working with App Lab start web request function and we're focusing on this URL parameter. So start web, re web request has two parameters, URL and a callback function. And we are using this web request to get data from the open weather API. And let's focus a little bit more on this URL. It's just a string. So you can see this first parameter is a just this massively long string that connects to the open weather API endpoint, uh, puts in a city code for the city we're interested in, and then passes our API key. And I hit command left arrow to get back to the beginning. And I wanna break this apart a little bit. I wanna break this into um, what I'm gonna call the URL base. That's the base for open weather's API. And the city code and the API key. So this doesn't change any functionality of the app, it's just gonna make us e make it easier to work with. So the URL base is just what we have to, uh, the URL we have to type in to get to the Open Weather API in the first place. And let's just Command X to copy this out and Command V. And it's gotta be a string, so it's gotta be in quotes. And so we have, this is the base URL to get to the open weather API endpoint. And then to search for a city, you wanna put in the city code. So uh, we can grab this part of the URL and we'll put that as the value for city code. And then finally, our API key generated from the open weather website. And this is like our password for using this API endpoint. So now I've got that URL broken into three parts and I kind of, maybe I want to make this, bring this up here. So ID equals, and then delete it from here. So now I can just pass in a city code and then here's my API key. Okay, so now that I've got this, I can build up a URL. So the full URL is gonna be URL base plus city code plus API key. And then inside the start web request, I can just pass in URL and it should still work. Let's just clean this up a little bit, put our semicolons at the end so we can get rid of all our yellow triangle warnings. So now I've got the URL base plus the city code plus the API key and I can start the web request by just passing URL, which is really that long string, but I've just made it easier to manage. And yes, it's still giving me heavy intensity rain. So let's just log out all of the data and we'll see it's giving me all of the weather data for that city. Now we could change the city code, right? So now it just makes it easier to manage. So instead of putting in the city code for London, let's put in the city code for Boston, 4930956, and we reset and run it. And now we're getting the current weather for Boston, Massachusetts. You can see the name is right here. So in our app, we might wanna have a dropdown with a bunch of different city codes, and then we can just plug in the different city code based on what the user chose for a dropdown, and then we will get the weather for that city. You know, def definitely important to note that the city code has to be a string. The city code is a number, but if we enter it as a number, we're going to get an error or not. Oh yeah, okay, and JavaScript's smart enough to figure out that it could convert that to uh, string. Good job, JavaScript. Um, so yeah, there you go. So 
We just simply broke down the URL into its base, the city code, and the API key just to try to make it a little bit easier to work with rather than having this long URL string that spills off the right side of the page. Um, more to come. Thank you.